You must have heard that wood is more rare and harder to find than diamonds in the universe. Well, this planet is the proof that diamond is actually very common and easy to find in this space. 55 Cancri E, often referred as the diamond planet, is twice the size and nine times the mass of Earth, and is believed to be having the composition very rich in carbon, which is potentially forming diamonds under extreme pressure. A year on this planet is just 18 hours, and surface temperature is almost half of our sun, which is 2300 degree Celsius. We'll be discussing more of these exoplanets, places that you might want to visit, but at the same time, stay as far away from them as possible. So, hey, this is Theos, and you are watching the Cosmological Reality, where we unravel the inner workings of the universe, piece by piece. We talked about a planet, which is twice the size of Earth, floating in space. Now here comes HD 189733b. I don't know why do they name planets like this. But let's continue. So, this planet is also referred as Hot Jupiter for its extreme weather conditions, including winds reaching 8,700 kilometers per hour. And literally, it rains glass over there, which is sideways due to its intense atmospheric conditions. This is due to the silicate particles which are present in the atmosphere, and also it gives a striking blue color to the planet. We learned in school that gravitational force is the weakest of four fundamental forces in the nature. But not that weak, cause it can be the reason behind the death of a planet which is almost twice the size of the Jupiter. WASP-12b is 1200 light years away from Earth. This planet orbit its yellow dwarf star very closely for about 2 million miles only and takes 1.1 day to complete its full revolution. The planet's atmosphere is around 2210 degrees Celsius, which is as hot as a small star, while the night is much cooler, about 1207 degrees Celsius. Shape of this planet is like an egg because the gravity of its parent star causes enormous tidal forces stretching the planet into the shape of an egg, due to which it will crash into its star in just three million years from now. Many think hell lies beneath the Earth's crust, but this planet challenges that notion. It embodies the very essence of hell itself. Kepler 70b, smaller than the size of Earth with a radius of 0.8 times that of Jupiter. This planet was not always this small, it used to be the size of Jupiter, but it was destroyed by its now dead star. The planet orbits its host star from a distance of 0.006 AU and takes only 0.2 days to complete one orbit. So why do scientists refer to this planet as hell? Well, it has a surface temperature more than our sun, which is 6800 degrees Celsius. And only life that might be able to survive there are thermophile bacteria. Next on the list is Tress 2b. This planet is 750 light years away from us. It is also known as the darkest exoplanet ever discovered, cause it emits only 1% of light. Scientists believe that due to the presence of light absorbing chemicals, such as vaporized sodium and potassium and gaseous titanium oxide, might be the reason why the planet appears this dark. But despite the extreme darkness, it gives out a slight reddish glow similar to burning ember or electric stove, and this burn is due to thermal emission. Researchers say that 95% of planet's light is given out as heat energy, cause its extreme hotness is due to the distance between the planet and its star. Astronomers have found a planet that looks like it's made of cotton candy. They're calling it the cotton candy planet, and for good reason. This wild exoplanet, WASP-193b, which is 1200 light years away, is about 50% bigger than Jupiter. But get this, it's the second lightest planet ever discovered. It's so airy it practically floats. Scientists are scratching their heads over how something this puffy even exists. They think it's mostly made of hydrogen and helium, the lightest gases out there. The planet's unique characteristics challenge current theories of planet formation, and scientists aren't sure how to classify it. Up next, we have K2-141b a scorching exoplanet just a million kilometers from its parent star and 202 light years away from us is covered by the oceans of magma. Dayside is so hot that it can vaporize the rocks creating a thin atmosphere of vaporized rock. At night, the rock cools and condenses into a never-ending hailstorm of pebbles. 
Reason for it to be so hot is the distance from its host star, and also it is tidally locked, meaning the same side always faces the star, raising its temperature up to 3000 degrees Celsius, while the night side is always in darkness and cool up to minus 220 degrees Celsius. Now we have a planet which is very similar to ours. Kepler 452b is an exoplanet that's super intriguing. It was discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope back in 2015, and it's one of the most Earth-like planets we've found so far. It's about 1,800 light-years away from us in the constellation Cygnus, orbiting a star that's similar to our Sun, but a bit older, around 6 billion years old. What's really cool is that Kepler 452b orbits its star in 385 days, which is almost the same as our year. That puts it right in the habitable zone, where temperatures might be just right for liquid water. Size-wise, it's about 60% larger than Earth. And while we don't know its exact mass, it's probably a rocky planet, maybe a super-Earth. If it has an atmosphere like ours, it could be warmer due to its size. But since we don't know for sure, it's all pretty speculative. Still, because it's in that sweet spot where life could potentially exist, Kepler 452b has people really excited. It's a huge find because it was the first Earth-sized planet found in the habitable zone of a star like our Sun, making it a prime candidate in the search for life beyond our solar system. Oh, and you've got to hear about TYC 899876U1b. This planet orbit its star at a distance of about 320 times the distance between Earth and Sun, and take around 2,063.1 year to complete one orbit. This is like a big brother for Jupiter. It's a gas giant and 14 times the mass of Jupiter. In July 2021, astronomers detected the isotope carbon-13 in the atmosphere of this planet, the first time such an isotope had been found in an exoplanet's atmosphere. And last but not the least, a planet that orbits not one but two stars, just like Tatooine from Star Wars. That's Kepler-16b for you. It's a gas giant, similar to Saturn, but its double star system creates a fascinating and complex environment. Orbiting two stars means it experiences some really unique light and shadow effects. Discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, Kepler-16b is a real-life example of a science fiction dream, offering a glimpse into the strange and wonderful possibilities of planetary systems beyond our own. As we continue to explore the galaxy, we may find even more strange and unsettling worlds. Perhaps one day we will discover a planet orbiting a black hole, or a world so close to its star that it is being ripped apart by tidal forces. The possibilities, it seems, are as endless as they are terrifying. It is a humbling and disquieting thought, one that should give us pause as we gaze out into the depths of space and wonder what other horrors might be lurking out there, waiting to be discovered.